to my channel. My name is Janelle Simoda and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel we go over all things fragrance. We talk about niche perfume houses. We go into designer fragrances, celebrity fragrances. We talk about layering combos. We go over lotions and hair oils. All things fragrance on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, then go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and also hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So you never know which fragrance house we are going to cover next or fragrance topic or, you know, uh, we're going to start our week. I like to focus on one perfume house at a time for at least an entire week. I do have a perfume house set up for us to, to begin tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking about having a little, I'm thinking about something. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. Okay, so. Today, I'm doing one of my favorite things that I absolutely love and adore to do on this channel, which is a head-to-head -head wear test. And I'm talking about a fragrance that is an unofficial clone of another fragrance. Normally, um, a really, really, really hefty price tag fragrance, like you got your Serge of Dama Bianca right here, compared to the House of Outer Main, which does amazing dupes for higher price tag fragrances. So Serge Octama Bianca, if you are familiar uh, with this fragrance, it is gorgeous. It is one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. It took a while. It took a, a little thinking uh, as far as uh, ordering the full bottle or not. In in the full video for Serge Octama Bianca, you can see like I talked about a decant and, and I don't know what else um, I talked about, but basically my struggle with like, do I need a full bottle of this or do I not? And in the end, I hadn't tried the uh, Junon Noir. Bef I didn't I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether to order a full bottle of Serge Abdam and Bianca or a full bottle of the Junon Noir. And in this case, I went with the Serge Abdam first and then I ordered the dupe. And here I am today to go over the results. So what do they smell like, each of these fragrances? Serge Abdam and Bianca, you are looking at um, a pretty, pretty big um, price tag here. I think you can get it for, I'll put it up here, about $199 or so on fragrance net is what I found. Oh my gosh. So we have here in this fragrance and this fragrance just, it's one of the girls, this fragrance. It's just so, to me, this is a delicate, delicate, beautiful, sensual, even vanilla. It's, it's a light and airy fragrance, a little powdery, just a tad. Um, and, and, and just so, so good uh, from beginning to end. I adore this fragrance. Um, so what do we have here? We have top notes of kumquat, which is a citrus sweet with a bitter lemon piney scent. And then we have lime. We have, uh, mid notes of Italian iris violet and Egyptian jasmine, and then um, lilac and lily of the valley, which lily of the valley uh, tends to smell like a soapy sweet jasmine um, or jasmine-like type note. And then in the base, we have vanilla malt, which I was like, ooh, malt. Is that is that what I'm adoring in this fragrance? Then we have ambre, which is musk mallow, white musk, sandalwood, and cedar. So malt happens to be um, like a roasted barley beer whiskey type smell. And um, I do absolutely adore that <laughs> um, in this base. So that is Serge Abdama Bianca. Uh, like I said, this bottle will run you a good 199 or so dollars. In this opening here, okay, first of all, I applied this fragrance at about nine this morning uh, because I said the last time that I tried it, I want to say I had applied it about 11.30 and did the video around seven, seven o'clock-ish. So this time I wanted to go longer. I wanted to go a longer time with it on to see what, if it will go the distance. And it has. It's about 90 degrees out there. I've run some errands today. I've been up, you know, um, I, I got ready right straight away because I was like, okay, it's going to be a busy day. And I decided to put these two to the test and see how far Serge Dama Bianca would take me. I applied it on this side. Oh, man, I don't know what it is about 
this Dama Bianca. I don't know why. There's there's a lot of reviews that mention that it lasts no more than four hours, you know, five hours tops. I don't have that issue. Um, do I overspray it? I think so, but it's because I just can't get enough of how it smells. It smells so, so good. Oh, I still, I still have it on my skin. I still have it in, in my hair. It is Dama Bianca is all on me. It just clings to my skin so it might just be my personal skin chemistry and i'm just so happy that i got lucky with that because it would be a shame if i would only um enjoy dama bianca for a couple you know four hours tops in this opening and i'll spray it again just to get the opening and these things are heavy by the way this really really luxe um packaging that we got going on here i'm gonna go ahead and spray the opening beautiful beautiful atomizer as well oh my gosh okay so uh, when it opens you get that sweetness i cannot say that i smell the lime or the lemon pininess that's supposed to be in here i don't get that i just get this beautiful beautiful sweetness a very light airy airy fragrance very sophisticated very refined just Mm. <laughs> it's just like this i don't know i don't know this fragrance just does it for me i'm telling you i'm just it's so so addictive to me it's a fragrance that you i smell and i just want to keep on smelling it it's that good it's that good to me it makes it makes me feel so so put together very very beautiful beautiful brunch spray i believe i went to brunch the day that i wore this um and then today you know i've been out there and it's just i just feel so good it makes me feel so put together um and and it's crazy how fragrances can do that but this one is one of the ones that can um i do have a pretty nice size zerdoff collection it's right here right here <laughs> Um, you know, I got quite a few going on here. I, I absolutely adore the House of Zerdoff. I feel like their fragrances are so, so refined to my nose, how they make me feel. Um, some of them are beast mode fragrances. They'll last you all, all day long. And Zerdoff Dama Bianca is no, no different to me, for, for me, it, my skin chemistry. Um, oh my gosh, it's such a good fragrance. Okay, so like I said, opens up light, airy, very refined. And um, in in the mid, then I do get the powderiness starts to come through, but I love the iris type powder. This is a cosmetic type powder. And I have compared this fragrance to Gentle Fluidity Gold. Gentle Fluidity Gold by uh, Mason Francis Kirk John. Here we are. <laughs> yes, it has different different there are differences here between gentle fluidity gold and zerdoff dama bianca however there is something in it that is very reminiscent of it the the type the vanilla that is in here oh my gosh um i don't know this one has juniper berries so that's also different so it's not exactly the same but the vanilla that is in here for whatever reason and then this one also this one is italian dinner that that's where I took it to uh, recently, an Italian an Italian date night. Um, Zardoff Dama Bianca, anytime, anytime you can wear this. Gentle Fluidity Gold as well. Oh my gosh, okay, so in the mid of this, like I said, not crazy powdery, not baby powder. It's, it's a refined powder, not a dated powder either. It's so beautiful, elegant, soft. And sophisticated again i'll just have to say it it's so nice um in the base it does not to me dry down like a basic vanilla it doesn't it does not give me like a one note you know type of vanilla it oh, i still this is the juno noir by the way on this side i i just um okay where's dry down <laughs> Oh man, I there's something else here. Um, the sandalwood and the cedar possibly, uh, you know, mixing with that vanilla and the malt. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. Th this fragrance is gorgeous from beginning to end. Um, if it works well with your skin chemistry, then by all means, this is a gorgeous fragrance. It was released in 2012 and it is a floral woody musk. That is the cl classification. Um, I just really, I do get a lot of vanilla and a lot of iris is what I get in this fragrance. 
<laughs> okay, so that's Zerjot Dama Bianca. Believe it or not, Juno Noah. <laughs> this is the unofficial dupe. Uh, it doesn't outright say it anywhere. Like, oh, you know, Juno Noah by Al Hermain by the House of Al Hermain is Zerjot Dama Bianca. No, the notes very similar, very similar. Here are the differences. Here are the differences. Our main Juno Noir, I put it up here. It, this one was released in the year 2018 and it is classified as an amber floral fragrance. So amber floral and this one a floral woody musk. This one has the dry down of the sandalwood and the cedar as well. Um, in the dry down for this fragrance, we are missing the amber musk mallow and we're also missing the malt. However, I do get a very, very similar dry down on this side. Yes, very similar. There's a, there's a slight difference between the two sides. A slight difference. Yeah, it's not 100. I get, I get more cedar in this one than I do. This one's, this one smells um, softer. I guess you could say and this one smells a little sharper not sharp it, it's not a sharp fragrance but it smells like just heavier on the cedar i would say on in the dry down okay the opening the difference in the opening with this fragrance and it is also still here by the way it is here since nine this morning as well beast mode i'll talk about the projection this projection i felt was stronger than the original Dama Bianca. So this one, you know, I could smell it stronger, even with its slight differences than the original. So the opening here, you guys, okay. It is not as light and airy and refined and sophisticated as the Zerda. No, there's even like a slight, I wanna say, like a soapy quality to this opening like that um what is it what was the soapy quality oh the lily of the valley so maybe this one is a little bit heavier on the lily of the valley coming through here in the mid because this one smells slightly slightly soapy a tiny bit tiny bit yeah it's not as powdery soft refined elegant you know light and airy it is stronger. This opening is much stronger. Got a little bit of that soapy, soapy quality. Um, I do feel like it was also very sweet, uh, but so is Zerdop Dama Bianca. Um, and then somewhere along the way, you know, they smell so, so similar. The differences here are not, not that crazy. They're not crazy at all, actually. <laughs> In the mid, the only thing that we're missing on Juno Noir is the um i want to say it's the italian iris we excuse me <laughs> we have um oris is what we have in this one which is in that same powdery powdery uh family um we have the violet we have the jasmine and the lily of the valley um we're also missing lilac in this fragrance so the original has lilac this one does not maybe that's another reason why the um what is the word? The Lily of the Valley is kind of a little more pronounced in the Juno Noir than it is in the original because the original has lilac and this one does not. So there's nothing buffering, you know, or working with. Oh my gosh, there's Charlie. The kids are outside. I'm, I'm, I'm about to pick my hair up and go and go join them. And guess what? The, and I just sprayed it again. This is gonna go strong. This is gonna go until shower time. Both sides, both sides. This one's softer, like I said, beast mode. This one was beast mode, strong. It has a stronger smell. Um, base, base here, we are missing the, oh, I already talked about the base, what we're missing. We're missing the Ambret Musk Mallow and, uh, and we're missing the Malt, which I truly enjoy in this fragrance, in the original Zerdok Dama Bianca. If you have the money to invest and spend the big bucks on your Zerdoff Dama Bianca or find it at a great price or you have um, during the sack sales, they usually drop them pretty good, um, you know, or any sales or or, or uh, fragrance groups also sometimes people, you know, like let's say that I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, I need to raise some funds. I'm going to sell some of my popular fragrances. If I were to sell this, you know, I could 
easily get 160 for it or 170 so you could find a good deal also if you look out there anywhere on the fragrance markets and whatnot um so yeah by all means she's worth it to me i feel extremely sophisticated in this opening very smooth soft beautiful we're missing that here however it smells so similar it really does as a dupe whoa <laughs> like whoa if if i hadn't found it at a great price um and i had just you know ordered the Junon noir i feel like i would have been satisfied with it but i ordered it after just because just sh out of sheer curiosity <laughs> i was like does it smell like it it does it really really does um but those are the slight differences that i found so if you're not too nitpicky um, and also the way that I want to use it is save some sprays out of my original. Um, you know, I'm going on a short trip and I don't want to use my original fragrance. I'm going to reach for the Junon Noir or not even short because this is going to go the distance. <laughs> um, I do feel like this is going to be a good maybe 10 hour wear and that's it. And I feel like this will be 12 hours plus. I really do. So as far as longevity is concerned and strength, this one for sure beat it out. I mean, it, I know that it, I can predict that it will beat it out because <laughs> it is stronger even on the clothes, like I said, like that sandalwood cedar note. Um, whereas this one, it's softer and the vanilla kind of sticks out at me versus the cedar. Those were the differences. Ah, so exciting. I love to compare these. I really, really do. Um, yeah it's just really really potent this one right here gorgeous gorgeous fragrance i'm interested in the other ones there's an original june june one and it literally there's like four of them or so and i'll check out what they're dupes of and whatnot if i have the original of course i will compare oh i'm like out of breath <laughs> super exciting um all right so let me know what your thoughts are um have you ever got your nose on serge off dama bianca um and or Junon noir how do you feel how do they compare and contrast or and or hopefully that this review really helped you make your decision you know if you can hold off on uh getting the original or um you know just get this one for kicks because it's it's a good good price all right, guys, thank you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend. We have one more day, I believe. Is today Sunday? I think today's Sunday. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Give the girl an extra day off of work and she's completely lost. <laughs> All right, got to go spend time with my family and um, hopefully everybody's doing the same. Y'all stay safe. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. And uh, don't forget to send in requests. So far, I have requests for um a closet tour so uh, hopefully i'll get my husband to build me some shelves or something so i can fit everything because i have things everywhere at the moment so as soon as i can get that going um i'll definitely do a little tour we'll see we'll see how it goes thank you guys so much Bye bye